Hello YouTube, it's Mike Morano here, and today I'm just doing a few requests for uh, things about the Asus Transformer. Um, first of all, I would like to say Powell 3, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't have any comic related things I could read on here, so I can't show you that. And it doesn't actually support MKV files. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a way you can make it compatible, but I'm not sure. Uh, I just use AVI, MPEG, uh, MP4, M4V. Those all work fine. Um, and then also, I'm sorry if I script the name, but Oyanike Banjo, something like that, uh, you asked for me to do in translate speed tests, so that I can do. And what I have here, this is the speed test that I use in one of my other videos. This basically tells you your network speed. So I'll start it up here. Uh, this obviously depends on your Wi-Fi connection. But right now my connection is it's three quarters of the way up, so it's pretty good. And as you can see, the downloading speed is pretty good. It's about one megabyte a second. It's actually uh, 868 gigabytes, which is 0.86 megabytes, something like that. And upload's decent too. Uh, with faster Wi-Fi routers and stuff, you'll get better speeds. But I can say that I've done the same exact test on my iPod Touch and I've only gotten about 200 gigabytes download and 60 to 70 uploading. So it does have very fast uh, connections. Actually, I'm going to keep it in landscape. The other test, SmartBench. This one, it just it um, calculates all the components that are used in uh, computer stuff. So here, it's doing like a 3D test before it did a 2D. Uh, sees how many frames per second it can support, um, stuff like that. I'm not actually going to sit here and wait for it to finish. I'm going to jump over to one that's already finished in a different application. And here you can see it gives you all of the numbers. Now these numbers really don't mean anything on their own, but <clears throat> you can check your rank, oh sorry, I believe that's in the other one. So let me just go back to that other one once it finishes. <clears throat> and you can compare... Oh, it's not that finish. Alright, I'm gonna go online now and show you what the benchmark is for the Transformer. But with that other app, you can actually compare your score with what the average user gets with other devices. Um, it's mostly phones in that though. But there's some tablets. Alright, here is the basic benchmarking results. Uh, I don't believe the battery life, because it's saying with the dock you only get 10 and a half hours. Um, I, I just can't believe that, because I'm getting 8 hours of continuous Wi-Fi surfing without the dock, and I know it doesn't add just 2 and a half hours. I mean, it also says here that the zoom gets 8 hours alone, and I know that doesn't happen. I've used one, and the battery life is not very good. Um, actually, I'm just going to go to the charts here. <clears throat> so, obviously, the bigger is the better. Uh, Asus Transformer blows away the competition with the Lin Pack. Don't know what that is. Memory is same across the board, better than average. Same across the board again, but it's better than average. Uh, the float, not sure what that is, but same across the board and better than average. Uh, graphics is a bit behind the zoom and G slate, whatever. It's still above average for the tablets, but I don't know what that is, so I can't really comment. Uh, CPU is actually the best. It doesn't look like it, but if you look at the numbers, it is a little bit ahead. Memory is the absolute highest, because they actually give you a gigabyte when they say it. I believe the zoom says it's a gigabyte, but you really only get 600 megabytes, so I'm not really sure. File system, don't know what that is, but it is the highest. Uh, 3D benchmark, this is whichever one plays the 3D graphics the smoothest, and it destroyed the competition pretty much. Uh, frames per second in 2D, that was extremely good, it got 68, which is better than the other two tablets and the average. Um, this is some other performance thing, it beats everything else yet again. And that's it for those. So as you can see, uh, it's a really solid tablet. The interface and everything is smooth. 
a lot smooth, but it's it performs very quickly. All right, not this one. The other one. Still not done. All right, well, sorry, I can't show you that because I don't want to wait here until it's done. But basically, if you looked at it, the only few things that beat the Transformer on average were phones like the Galaxy S2 and, and incredibly good smartphones like that. But if you think about it, it makes sense because they're using the same components in there and a much smaller screen, so it's going to be able to calculate stuff and perform a lot better. Um, that's pretty much it for this episode, so if you are thinking about getting the Transformer, didn't really know what the actual performances of it were, uh, now you do, you know that it's extremely good, it's much better than average. The tablet's only 400 bucks. Uh, I'm sure the price will be dropping soon once the second generation is released. Uh, they estimated that would be in November or December. So you might want to wait until then to get the reduced price or the new uh, generation one. Uh, but anyway, that's all for now. Uh, b before I go, I would like to ask a question. I am probably probably won't get any answers. But I was thinking of maybe doing just a weekly thing, uh, once a week every, say, Sunday. Just posting a video about my Transformer, about new things I found out about it, new things you can do, update information. Like, uh, I probably won't ever root it, but if I do, I'll give you rooting information. How to optimize it. Just all that stuff, like whatever I've discovered for that week about it, I put in a short little video, maybe three or four minutes long. Uh, I'm not really sure if I'll get enough each week. I might do it monthly. I'm still not really sure. It's just an idea. Um, but tell me what you think of that, and I will see you later. Even though I won't actually see you. Uh, bye.